Hey everybody, it's time for another Beatles update. I know it hasn't been very long since I made the last one, but as you all know, I'm always getting new Beatles stuff, and I'm anxious to put it online here and show it to everybody. So um, I'm going to start with an album that uh, is very hard to find. And uh, in, in all my years of experience of going around and uh, searching for records, going to old rare shops and things, I don't think I've ever seen a copy of this out in the wild. This may be the first time I've ever spotted one. Uh, if I ever saw another one I can't recall and that's a long time uh, it's this album as I put my glasses on I mean nobody likes getting older but the way I look at it is it's better than the alternative right so uh, it's this album John and Yoko wedding album very hard to come by this album and uh, uh, this is an American copy from 1969 uh, US pressing. Um, as I said, I don't think I've ever seen this anywhere. And uh, Robert Z made a really great video many videos ago where he showed his Japanese copy of this, which is really beautiful. And I think uh, you might want to take a look at that if you're interested in the album. From what I've seen looking at Amazon and so forth, I think that the, the Japanese copy uh, is more readily available and easier to come by if you want to collect this. I've never seen a U.S. copy, I don't believe. So uh, I got this for a good price of uh, $50 in my uh, one of my record stores. I, th I think it's a good price. Now, uh, this thing usually goes for over 100 or 200 bucks from what I've ever heard about. But the reason that this was so cheap, first of all, this is supposed to be white and it's kind of yellow, you know. I took uh, a cleaning wipe, Lysol wipe, and gently tried to remove a lot of the dirt and, and uh, grime from it to make it a little cleaner, but uh, it wasn't in great shape, the box. Um, I'll take it off and show you another reason why this was priced so affordably. Uh, the corner, you know, the corners are kind of ripped there, see. Um, this corner here too, kind of ripped. The box is in, is in great shape, uh, and uh, the, the lower box either, I mean, uh, you can see how grimy that looks. And this whole side here is like kind of hanging off uh, a little bit there, down in that corner. So, but for $50, I don't think I'd spend much more on this no matter what. If I ever find it pristine, we'll, we'll talk about it, but... Um, now, this album had a lot of uh, goodies inside. I don't really know if I've got everything intact here. I'm pretty sure it's intact. Maybe some of you out there could let me know if my copy's missing anything. I have to look at Robert Z's video, actually. That, that showed you what was in the album. Uh, we start out on the cover. If you flip the cover back, it's got a copy of the marriage certificate which I'm not going to linger on here. I'm just going to show you that it's present. Uh, that covers that. Then after that, we've got the album itself, which I'll pull out. Uh, and this picture here, this is not a couple of tribbles from uh, Star Trek. What this is, is uh, John and Yoko kissing years before the Double Fantasy album cover. Uh, I did find this album once before. I've got a copy of the album itself, the record, in my, my collection, but it's not as pristine as this. This was a pretty nice condition because it was kept inside the box. So this is in good shape. And this one, is, you know, it's really good. Look at that. Nice and clean. Back. No scuffs or anything. Uh, inside we got a gatefold. There's a press conference for seven days in bed where John and Yoko answered the press questions. Uh, the record itself is in pretty good shape. It's on an Apple label. And uh, I've never played this entire record, even as a John Lennon fan. Uh, I've never been able to get through it, but I have to one day. Sometimes I put on the A side, which consists just of John and Yoko saying each other's names back and forth. John and Yoko, John, Yoko. Uh, screaming their names, moaning their names, whispering their names, you know, slobbering over their names, everything. <laughs> But uh, it's not much to listen to. Uh, then inside is a booklet here. It says the press. And there's uh, photos in here and newspaper clippings. And uh, these newspaper clippings are both pro John and Yoko and anti John and Yoko. Uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of wisecracks. You know, and uh, some of them are really, really uh, against 
you know, you know, stop making war on John and Yoko. I hope to have the time to peruse these news clippings a little more. Then we got a bag, white bag called Bagism. And inside the white bag, you've got a replica piece of the wedding cake. If you want, everybody's entitled to a piece of cake. Um, then we have a mini mini poster, which uh, I don't want to fold out too much. It's got some drawings on it, cartoons, little photo there. Then we have another poster that says the wedding. This is for the wedding itself, and there's Yoko on the front, followed by John on the back. And inside, uh, it folds open, and you've got photos from the ceremony, I guess, or whatever you call it. It's not very <laughs> extravagant. And there's Peter Brown, folks. See this guy here? For those of you who don't know, in the song Ballad of John and Yoko, Peter Brown called to say, you can make it okay. You can get married in Gibraltar near Spain. And then years later, he wrote this book, The Love You Make. Peter Brown did and trash John and Yoko and <laughs> the Beatles. You know, there he is uh, with Stephen Gaines. Just a little thing I thought of on the side. Also, on the bottom, we got a couple of other things included here. We got uh, a postcard, John and Yoko. And this really cool photo booth strip, pic you know, photograph <laughs> booth pictures, which is cool. Now, I don't know if that's everything. Let me know if it's not. But uh, rushing through again, as always, because um, my 8 minute, 12 second or so time limit, I will get a better camera. I swear I will, or a replacement memory card. I'm looking at it in time for the end of the year. I think around the holidays I'm going to be getting a new one. There's an album I picked up, uh, The Beatles. This is uh, from Germany. I'm pretty sure it's just a repressing. It's on uh, an orange Odeon label. It's a regular black record. The songs on here are, are pretty unusual. I like albums where you have unusual song uh, pairings. Hold Me Tight, All My Loving, Eight Days a Week, No Reply, A Hard Day's Night, I Should Have Known Better, And I Love Her, Side 2, Dr. Robert, Eleanor Rigby, If I Fell, Michelle, Yellow Submarine, And Your Bird Can Sing, and I Want to Tell You. Okay, rushing right along here. Here's a 45, a new one from Paul McCartney and Youth under the title of The Bloody Beat Roots. It's called Out of Sight. And uh, the label is like that, Out of Sight. And here's a Let It Be picture sleeve from Ferry Aid with Paul participated. That's it for now.